So they released two summer skins. Silon is half naked while Guinevere is completely covered. Fascinating. I actually didn't want to buy this skin because it's just not that appealing. But I gotta do what I gotta do for the sake of the video. In this one, the enemies are going to have many one shotter heroes, so it's going to be tricky trying to get close to them. I wanted to harass my counterpart at the start of the game, but once I saw that they were doing the meta two heroes in the experience lane first, I had to back off right away. Great start. They are putting a lot of pressure on my lane, not sure why they didn't focus on the easier prey instead, which is our marksman. This Gatad really wanted my nuts. No need to be frustrated in this kind of situation. Just gotta believe that your teammates are destroying the other lanes. This Gatad is really my kryptonite. It's okay though, because the game just got so much more interesting. My teammates are coming, and since Balmo has been doing whatever he pleases, he will take the bait without any doubt. Most of them are in the middle lane, so we have plenty of time to get the maximum goal from the turret. But we shouldn't overstay our welcome. Okay, the enemies were probably already getting very close. It's time to retreat. We already got what we came for. Our tank was hiding in the bush. He can just simply recall back to base. Well. Our friend is going to be AFK from time to time, and Sass doesn't rotate at all. This is going to be a very intense match. Since Balmon is farming in the middle lane, and most of them were probably taking the turtle, I had to use this chance to push top.
You can use the first skill after you jump, and even a basic attack before using the ult. That way you can deal max damage. But don't do the full combo all the time, especially when there are nearby enemies with CC skills. Their Balma was more fed than I thought. Oof, I thought she was dead for sure, but she managed to escape. That 700 extra HP from concentrated energy is extremely helpful. Eudora was all smiley because her team was winning. Gotta make her pay for being overconfident. I don't know why, but a lot of times when I tap a skill, it just doesn't respond. They are nerfing my device. That extra 100 HP was really saving my life. Saber was trapped. He will most likely try to dash away. I just gotta wait for him to dash first. Don't be afraid to miss her jumps, if you fail just retreat right away. It's better to try than do nothing at all. An important tip for the single people out there.
They can do the lore very easily even without me. To be more efficient, I decided to push the middle lane instead. Balmo will definitely try to dash away when he sees me jump, so I decide to predict his prediction. One step ahead. Oh, you'll have it more epic if we just dash a little bit sooner. Well, I'm dead for sure, but at least I managed to kill many of them first. Or so you thought. By the way, our tank has full HP because he just ran away. He definitely made the right choice, because tanks should always try their best to have zero death. I thought Lin was probably gonna finish him off, so I just went for the inhibitor instead. The enemy knew that we were going for the Lord, so instead of going for it right away, we should try to make them as low as possible to increase our chance of winning the team fight. Guinevere is definitely still a great fighter, but she requires a good amount of practice before she can become really great. Her jump needs a lot of timing. If only they made her new skin a bit more appealing, so there's at least a reason to play her more often.